Hi, this is Karen McKee, the scientist videographer, and in this video we're going to be talking about something called an electronic whiteboard. Now, some of you may be wondering uh, what this is, and it is exactly what you're seeing me doing on screen here. It's a virtual dry erase board or blackboard that allows you to write on the screen as you're talking. You've probably seen some math lesson tutorials using this technique. It's become a popular teaching tool, but for videography, it's another way to convey information in a different format from, uh, say, an animation that uh, takes quite a bit of time to prepare, or a person talking on screen explaining a concept which uh, also takes a bit of uh, an effort. So basically this is just another tool in your toolbox. One advantage of this technique is its flexibility in creating content for your science videos. For example, you might want to explain tides and what causes tides, and you may, may end up spending hours looking for public domain images or creating animations to show how the Earth, Moon, and Sun move relative to each other and how this relates to the tides. With a whiteboard, however, all you need to do is draw three spheres and label them Earth, Moon, and Sun. We can also erase things and redraw them in another position, uh, add other elements such as arrows, in this case showing the relationship between the objects that I've drawn. We can add color or change the color of the pen. So how do you do this? Well, first you need a background image that will serve as your virtual drawing pad. And it needs to be of a particular size. The dimensions need to be 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. And the reason is that these are the dimensions accepted by YouTube and uh, most video sharing sites. This, is, this dimension is equivalent to HD, and this is the version of your video that you want to be uploading because it looks the best, and also viewers are going to be, are going to prefer looking at your video in HD. You can use a completely blank background, or you can add a header, as I've done here, showing your logo, and a footer, which provides a nice frame for your image. How do you create this image? Well, one of the easiest ways is to use Photoshop, especially if you already know a bit about how to use it. If not, perhaps you can persuade a colleague or a friend who does know how to use Photoshop or a similar application to help you out and create the image for you. So now I've zoomed out a bit and you can see that I'm working in Photoshop and that's what I've been doing all along and that what you want to do to start your background image is open up a document and size it according to the dimensions that I mentioned earlier. So here you see you can uh, so set the width and the height of your image to the correct dimensions and you save that and that is what I have 
in view here. Then what you want to do is create layers for your image. You have a background, which is the white background. You can add a layer where you import your logo and create a footer. And then you also want to create a drawing layer that you can do all of your scribbling on so that you're not marking up your other layers, your background or your logo layer. Then you just uh, set your pen color and the stroke width as you normally would. And then you're all set to draw or write or directly on your electronic whiteboard. You can also bring in images such as this one. And if you wish, you can draw directly on them, illustrating some aspect of that image along with the other drawings and text that you are drawing on your whiteboard. So this gives you quite a bit of flexibility in creating uh, something for your video. And then all you have to do is record your screen and your voice as you're writing on your whiteboard. You can use a number of different applications to do the screen recording. QuickTime is one if you have it. Uh, another option is something called ScreenFlow. This is for the Mac. Another one is Camtasia Studio. This is uh, for the PC, but there is also a Mac version of Camtasia Studio. And so with these, you can do your screen recordings. Another item that you might want to invest in is a drawing pad and pen. These allow you uh, much more flexibility in drawing. It's very difficult to draw with a mouse or with your finger on a touchpad. So here's my drawing tablet and my pen. And you can see that as I draw on the drawing tablet, the writing then appears on the screen. And the tablet that I have is, the product is called a Bamboo, and it's made by a company called Wacom. This makes writing and drawing so much easier. The pen actually picks up the pressure that you apply to it, and that's reflected in the width of the stroke. So it looks very natural and is just really easy, much easier than trying to use a mouse or your finger on the touchpad. And that's about it. Consider using this whiteboard technique in your science videos, either to do an entire video or to just illustrate a concept that is put within a larger video. So please visit my website for more ideas and tips for your science videos. You can see the URL at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for your attention and good luck with your video projects.